Hi, I'm Tate McRae, and this is my radio, Radio Disney. Well, you know that Greedy is one of the most important songs in Mexico and Latin America, and at Radio Disney we have something that we call Tell Me a Song. You will have 30 or 40 seconds to tell us what's behind Greedy, the story, a fun fact. Anything you want to say, you can say it now at Tell Us a Song. Tate McRae, it's your time. Okay, well, Greedy was written genuinely just about a, a story about a guy hitting on you at a bar. <laughs> and we started painting out this whole story of um, someone coming up to you and just made it this whole like empowering anthem. Um, but fun fact, we actually rewrote this chorus like three times because I was so nervous and I'm a perfectionist. Okay, and continuing with this story, I know that you are very perfectionist because I saw that, that the titles of the songs that, that your team shared to me were with a lot of uh, comments. Uh, version 3, re-equalized, intros, you have the power of a great team that is behind you, but but you leave all what you do? Yeah, I'm very... Um... I'm very uh, stubborn on making sure that everything sounds perfect, so I feel like I uh, look at all my songs through a microscope and, and pick it apart. I can have like 20 mixes per song because I have so many different notes for all the sonics. That's why Think Later so sounds so good. I, I really had a great time listening uh, to it like uh, ha an hour ago. Oh, and yeah. And I, and I realize a lot of things. Let's just start with the album. If you could resume the, the album in a sentence, what would it be? Probably just the quote, live now, think later, dance now, think later. Um, kind of the idea of just leading your life with your intuition and your heart rather than your head sometimes. Hey, it's a great sentence. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then... The lyrics. Was this an album written from a broken or a healed heart? Because I, I, I noticed that excess or guilty conscience uh, stayed on, cut my hair. They're very similar, but they are quite different. You know, um, it's funny because I wrote this album throughout the course of me going through this relationship in real time. So some of the songs are when I was like knee deep in the relationship. And then some of it is right when the breakup was happening. And then some of the songs were written a long time after. So you kind of see like the evolution of my perspective on this relationship um, as time passes. But it, yeah, some of the songs on there I wrote while I was still fully in it. So that's why you said on, the, on one of your Instagram posts that you were saying that you were fi figuring it out who you are these 20 years and yeah. if if you could choose one song from the from think later after a breakup which is the first step to move on which is the perfect song to move on <laughs> maybe cut my hair actually i think <laughs> that song to me is such a bad girl badass anthem and i i just love how it starts the album i think it um is such a feeling of like escapism whenever I listen to it. I just want to like go out and have fun when I listen to that song. I stayed my my great the the girl, not the artist. Huh. Why why do girls go to cut their hair after a breakup of a change, a big change in their lives? You know, I think it's because you're the way you look in a relationship. I feel like when people finish. A relationship they kind of just want like a fresh slate a fresh start because they want to become a new person they want to have like some sort of identity change that like is very obvious to their eye and i think your our hair is such an important part of a girl's body that i'm like um i feel like that's the first people that it, the first thing that people instinctually do um yeah and in, in this song it was kind of just like i want to change everything about me and i just do not want to care anymore and i think that was like the idea of 
me wanting to change my identity completely. And something that I noticed in this in this new album thing later, it's that it's a lot of work behind um, each track. We we said already, but which was the best part creating the whole album? Um, probably the people I worked with. I finally found a team that I admire so much and was able to like. Finally, what I've been dreaming about making an album is like bringing the whiteboard into the room and being able to write out all the track lists or the track list and be able to listen to the mixes back to back and be like, no, recut ad libs, like just be very, very involved in the process with the same people. And I was really fortunate to like find that group this year and, you know, be able to work with some really incredible collaborators who could help me shape the album. And living behind all those called numbers from social media and all, all the billboard numbers and and all that kind of stuff how did tate realize that you were recognized worldwide with with greedy because it's a great success this song now um i mean when i i don't it's been really crazy because i think greedy's been like number one on the global charts for like 20 days or something which is like absurd to me i don't even know how that's possible um but it's been it's been really cool too because then i have friends who will travel and you know T ryan tedder was in india the other week and he was like i just heard greedy play like six times in every different store and you know i think that's when we started to realize that this song had really gone global and was was everywhere are you okay with the fame are you okay with with the global impact that a song can change an artist's life <laughs> um i think it's i mean i think there's ups and downs to being so exposed i think the biggest thing is like people on the internet like have free reign to pick you apart so like y you can get judged for anything and i can literally just stand there and someone's gonna hate the way i'm doing something so it just you're basically like allowing judgment into your life like really intensely and on a really grand scale um But I think the, the fun part for me is the performing. I mean, getting to perform for big crowds, music that I really care about and that I write myself is like a feeling that I can't compare to anything else. And the next question will be my last question because if I don't ask this, uh -huh. millions and pe millions of people in Latin America will, will do something to me if I don't ask, why didn't you share any date or time or maybe a possibility that you will come to Latin America next year? When well, will I'm, you come? Well, when will you be with us? I'm for sure going to come at some point because I want to really badly. And I've heard that you guys are some of the best fans and the best crowds. So I definitely want to come. I don't have, I don't know if anything's like for sure yet, but um, I'm crossing my fingers because I really want to come. We'll help you to see you soon, Tate. Thank you very much for this talk. You are always welcome to Radio Disney, and I really wish you good luck. A Thank lot you. of good things will come with this new album next December 8th. Thank you very much. Thank you. Nice to meet you.